STL Sproutcast. Don't miss a minute of fun. Subscribe to St. Louis Sprout and About's free newsletters to get news and events from your favorite St. Louis destinations delivered to your inbox. Our weekly planner newsletter is a must-have for planning your family's weekly outings. For a monthly roundup of top news and resources, subscribe to our In the Know newsletter. When you subscribe, you'll get access to special offers, giveaways, summer camp and education resources, and more. Visit stlsprout.com to learn more about all our free newsletters and subscribe today. Hello and welcome to STL Sproutcast's Summer Camp Series. I'm St. Louis Sprout and About publisher Becky Mazelin. When it comes to affordable family destinations, few places top the public library. Today we're joined by Jenny Song, Youth Services Program Coordinator at St. Louis Public Library. Jenny's here to share all the fun things families can look forward to this summer at St. Louis Public Library. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for joining our summer camp series. Thank you, Becky. Thanks for having me. A lot of listeners might not be aware that St. Louis Public Library hosts summer camps. Can you share a little more about that? Yes, we offer 80 free week-long camps for kids and teens. Uh, We partner with amazing local organizations around St. Louis like COCA, Day Spring Arts, or the St. Louis Zoo. Uh, We offer a wide variety of camps. Uh, We have those maybe if they're interested in doing their Pokemon trading uh, cards, if they're interested in Hogwarts or Harry Potter, if they play the chess or the ukulele, we have a lot of camps on that. Uh, We even have some camps for teens with our printmaking and uh, camp with also if they want to learn how to do a D&D campaign, they can learn that. Uh, We also have little camps for little ones. They can do learn about stories, do dance, move to music. We're even having a piano camp, which is really a new one for us as well. They can learn how to play piano, build the Legos, practice first aid. There's so many different options for our kiddos. We also have several camps specifically designed for campers with sensory needs or developmental disabilities. Um, And those have a very specific curriculum and trained instructors to make sure each camper has a successful camp experience. What's the age range for camps? It's actually for the kids zero to 18. So we have uh, itty bitty camps like baby camps where the caregivers join us and learn how to interact and bond and sing and play with their children. And then all the way up to 18, all the teen camps as well. Great. And how much do the camps cost? They're 100% free. If everything like the library is absolutely free. That's wonderful. Are camps in person or virtual? We have most of our camps are in person. We have about six uh, virtual camps. Uh, offerings if you're still interested. And how do families register? All our registration is done online. So you go to slpl.jambula.com and you can register online. And I'm guessing since these camps are free, they're quite popular. So do they fill up quickly? They do. We are about 86% full right now, about 140, 40 more spots to go. Um, yeah, next year, if you are interested, it's always the registration opens the first Monday of March at noon. I would recommend setting an alarm because folks do, and it does fill up really quickly uh, that first day. Are camps available throughout the library system, like at the branches? Yeah, so we have 13 locations that we do camps in throughout the whole city. So we have camps all over for all different ages, uh, for all different interests throughout the city. We'll be right back after this brief message. Start planning your child's summer adventures with St. Louis Sprout and About's virtual camp fair. Get the latest and new offerings from the area's best summer camps and programs, score special early bird savings, and find activities for every child's interests. Visit the virtual camp fair at stlsprout.com and click on summer camps. New camps are always joining Sprout and About's virtual camp fair, so be sure to check back often. For many families, the real kickoff to summer break is registering for a summer reading program. Can you tell us a little about what you've got in the works this summer? Oh, we're so excited. We're doing a new thing. We're St. Louis Public Library and St. Louis County Library. We're teaming up and we have a brand new program called STL Summer Adventures. Young people can read books, complete activities uh, based on their interests and earn prizes. And how do families register for this year's summer reading program? There'll be booklets available at any uh, St. Louis County Library or St. Louis Public Library. Um, We'll also have participating community partners, and they can also do it online on our Beanstalk, a Beanstack app. And if 
folks that part, any participants that register, they do get a free book just for registering as well. And there's always a slew of prizes at the end as well. Oh, great. Yeah. Do you have any information on the types of prizes you're offering this year? So I know that for little littles, we're going to have bath toys, a set of bath toys, like little squeezy guys. Uh, for our school year, uh, school age kids, we have plus plus building blocks and uh, reusable water bottles for teens. Uh, we also have a bunch of community partners that are providing like Cardinals ticket vouchers, Missouri Botanical Garden tickets, Magic House tickets. And then we will also have grand prize raffles for larger prize giveaways like Lego store gift cards, AirPods, and Nintendo Switches. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of prizes. Why is it important to encourage kids to continue reading throughout the summer? Well, summer is a critical time for kids' development. Uh, Kids need to engage their brains and their bodies over the summer to make the most of their time and have a successful return to school in the fall. We hope that kiddos who participate in these camps and reading programs have fun, they learn something new, and return to the library to explore more. Um, It's also a way for our community members to remind them that libraries can offer so much more in addition to just amazing books. Do you have any tips for making reading a fun activity during summer break? Do just making sure, reminding your kiddos to follow their interests. Uh, Libraries have books on every topic under the sun. Uh, So we've got something that will spark the interest of every reader. If reading feels like a chore, pick up a different book. Find out there's something else that excites you. Obviously, when we think of checking out items from our local library, the first thing that comes to mind is books. But today's libraries have a wide variety of items available to borrow. What types of things do you have available in your collection that might help keep kids busy this summer? This is a great question because I feel like a lot of folks don't know. Um, You can check out fishing rods and telescopes, binoculars from the library. Um, We also have a new lit kit. For our younger kiddos that are learning literacy, it's a curated set of books along with toys combined in a bag that you can check out. They have uh, centers on topics like colors, shapes, and numbers. And then we also have a space called Creative Experience in three of our locations. You have large format printing, 3D printing, um, laser cutting. It's it's stuff that you won't uh, won't imagine a library to carry. There's a recording studio. There's a lot of different things you can do at the library other than amazing books. Well, libraries have certainly come a long way since I was a little kid checking out my stack of books for the summer. That's amazing. Right. Is there anything else you'd like to share today? You know, we're along with the summer side because we call it the summer side where kiddos, if they don't have that enriching activity during the summer, um, coming back into the semester, they might be behind uh, the other kiddos. We're also facing a generation of uh, students dealing with the COVID slide. So that gap of that, of that learning. So we're always looking for ways that we can support literacy development for kids who started school and are struggling to read. And we've got exciting updates in that in the fall. I don't have firm details yet, but um, keep that in mind as you look for kiddos support of, of for literacy in the fall. So I'll have more information on that. Well, thanks to my guest, Jenny Song with St. Louis Public Library for joining me today. To learn more about summer fun at St. Louis Public Library, visit slpl.org. To find the perfect summer camp for your family, visit our virtual camp fair at stlsprout.com. If you have questions about today's podcast or suggestions for future STL Sprout casts, visit stlsprout.com and click the podcast menu tab to send us a message. You can also visit us on Facebook or Instagram at STL Sproutcast. If you like what you heard today, be sure to leave us a review wherever you get your podcasts and share STL Sproutcast with your friends and family. As always, for more fun things to do with your family in the St. Louis area, visit stlsprout.com, where you'll find the latest news and events from your favorite destinations. While you're there, be sure to subscribe to our free e-newsletters. Sprout out!